Hello everyone and welcome back. That last snowstorm dumped about 12 inches of snow. I was just out here cutting wood that uh, I finally finished plowing everything up because we when I ended yesterday or the, the last video um, it snowed about another three more inches so I had to clean up the front part of the drive because it got real windy and drifted. And now today it's the high of the day right now it's like 26.2 and tonight we're going to get down to about zero, maybe a couple degrees below zero. Tomorrow up to 30 or 31. The following day we're going to hit 40, which is going to seem like summertime. And then another winter storm watch comes into effect. And right now it's looking like another foot of snow <laughs> that's coming in. So I was just out here and cut some more wood. And uh, the next two days it's going to melt some of that snow. I shook up the whole pile with the tractor. It'll melt some of that snow off the top and I'll probably cut a little bit more. Uh, la uh, yesterday Melissa sent me, uh, it was one of her Facebook memories from one year ago that day. And it showed a video by the chicken coop. And she was standing about right here. And she sent me a video because there was big snowflakes falling. I must have been down in Louisiana or going back and forth from Louisiana moving stuff. The only snow on the ground was right over here by the snowmobile. There was a little pile from where I push it from plowing. A couple of those. Otherwise, the fields, the yard, everything. It was brown, but everything was grass. <laughs> and now we have another foot coming. That's amazing. So normally I wouldn't even start this video yet. It's early in the week, but with another storm coming, I thought I might as well get going so you guys can feel my pain all the way till the end. It's gonna go from snow to mosquitoes in just about a matter of a week. I can just know it. Melissa gets home tomorrow, so I went around and made sure that all of her plants were watered because some of them were looking a little bit wilty. So everything looks good when she gets back. We have to keep this one on the dining room table because we have a couple of kittens run around and when it's on the floor they like to jump in there and play hide and seek and it flattens the plant. What are you doing Patty? You need to go outside Joni? Is it time?
Yesterday, Melissa got home uh, just about one o'clock. Where are we? No, don't don't you stand up there. He's ready to be home. Wow, look at all the snow piles. Look at that. Look at Joni. <laughs> Joni, what you doing? She brought back uh, boiled crawfish and crab. So we had that for lunch. Last video I had a day where I said I left at like 6 o'clock in the morning and I was gone most of the day. Had to do some driving and Melissa and I actually bought something and I'm not doing any video on it until we pick it up and which should probably be coming up this weekend so it might be in this video. It all depends. We have a winter storm starting tomorrow and we're supposed to get 8 to 12 inches of snow. But anyway this thing I bought I need to, I need to put it somewhere. So I plowed that out wider and then just plowed in here so I can get it backed in there. So anyway, I wanted to do that because we've got the storm coming. I should cut a little bit more wood even though I've got enough there. I should cut a little bit more before the storm. But I just needed to widen all this out. Nice day today. Uh, I, don't even, I don't know if it's 40 yet. It was supposed to get to 40. Feels real nice. Things are melting. Yeah, and then we got another storm coming. Right now it's about almost 20 minutes after 3. At 3.30 the National Weather Service is going to do a live on Facebook talking about this upcoming storm. They're not sure. It could go a little bit south and east or uh, could be partially rain. And Anyway, there hasn't been any update since this morning so Melissa and I are going to watch that. Otherwise I've pretty much been hanging in, I, out inside with her getting caught up on things and, and just spending some time with her. And right now I'm going to go inside and I'll watch that and I'll let you guys know if this is going to be a storm or not going to be a storm. Melissa has to go back to work tomorrow. Well, I decided to come out here. I'm going to cut wood for a little bit. I don't need any, but it's 41 degrees right now. It's beautiful. And we watch that weather thing and we're in the now 5 to 10 inch category. Not a big deal, but still, five inches on these logs versus nothing is a big difference. So I'm going to cut some right now. I just finished editing the video when Melissa left to go to Louisiana. And Melissa's in there on a video call with the grandkids down in Louisiana. So I said I'm going to come out here and cut wood for a little bit. I decided to just do one full tank of fuel, so I just ran out. It's quite a bit of wood. I did hit bottom over on this side. So that's nice, starting to back this pile up here. Can't build a shed in the summertime if there's a wood pile there. I'll come out here a little later and cover it up with the tarp before the snow falls. I don't really wouldn't have to do that till tomorrow morning, but 
gonna have to put it down good because they said you know that five to ten but there's also going to be sustained 35 mile an hour gust uh, winds with gusts going much higher I don't think I've started the truck in probably a month, so start it up here and let it run 15 or 20 minutes. I think I'm going to have to use this one when I go pick that thing up and bring it home. I'm going to need a diesel for sure, and this one I know the lights and everything work for the trailer stuff, and I'm not sure if they do on the King Ranch. And I don't want to be two and a half hours away and then find out the brake lights stuff doesn't work on that one. I can't remember if they do or not, and there's no way to get back by my travel trailer to hook it up to see. Four to eight inches for the twin ports in a lot of areas. Losing accumulation with that three to six will be wet. Good morning, everybody. It's just about seven o'clock. My weather thing says 34.2 degrees. Temperatures should uh, drop during the day. It's going to get real windy and looks like we're on track for seven inches of snow. Yesterday, I took the snowmobile yesterday afternoon and was going to go back and run the trail around because it's just about time to tap the trees for maple sap. And I got the snowmobile. That's all the farther it got. It just buried. It was 41 degrees yesterday though, so... Pretty soft snow, it's gonna get cold over the next two days, so I'll be able to run the trail and get it packed down, but now it's raining out or it's really misting hard. So that means that snow is on the way soon. The temperatures are supposed to drop all day. Last time I looked, it was 34.
wanted to get this pulled out because when this starts to melt, and I think this year it's going to melt fast when it gets warm, and this is going to, it's just, no matter how it melts, this is going to be a sloppy mess here. I'm not going to be able to drive the tractor in here a whole lot, and I'm probably going to want to cut and split some of those logs because I'm going to be getting into the bigger ones as we wrap up the burning, the burning season here. Uh, so I thought I'd better get that out right now. That was as close as it is. Especially where they put in the lines last year, it's real soft. It never did really freeze all winter right there. Like I'd come in here with the uh, four-wheeler, as soon as the plow hits that, that dirt, wham, it would just go in. So I thought I better get this out now or I'm going to be waiting for a long time. We haven't started this now all winter. Seems to be ready for another season of splitting some wood. Two thirty in the afternoon. It hasn't stopped snowing. Wind is picking up. Now it's about just a little bit before six o'clock. Melissa just got home from work shortly, or not that long ago. That temperature is definitely dropping. Wind's blowing that snow all over the place and it's still snowing. 7.30 at night. Nasty. It's 10 minutes after 10. About half hour ago, Melissa and I went out and she did the cats and we did the chickens and I did the boiler. It is pretty much the middle of March and that was the most brutal uh, boiler fill up that I've done. The snow was heavy and deep so trying to pull the sled sucked, it's windy, the snow was really blowing. Yeah, you think winter's over but it's not. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm guessing we got six or seven inches last night. I don't know, could be more. <laughs> uh, five degree actual air temperature. It's windy though, so there's an 18 below wind chill. Gonna have to plow snow again. 
what a crappy cold day. I need to run up and get some chicken food and fill up with fuel. I'm gonna run Brandon into, into Duluth later to the hospital. He's got a appointment there, so get this done with right away this morning. I made it back to the house. Gonna run out and dump that chicken food in with the chickens and then I'm gonna plow out part of the driveway. Try to do it with just the four-wheeler. Well, it's about 6.30 at night right now. Melissa's home from work. I got back from bringing Brandon in. He could have driven himself. The roads weren't that bad, but we just didn't know. It is nasty. We're getting another, supposed to get an inch of snow here. Still windy. Cold. 8.30 at night. Snow stopped. Wind is still there. And it's chilly. Boilers all filled up, chores are all done, it's almost time for bed. Okay everyone, 10.40 at night, boilers filled up, all the chores are done, skies are clear, still a breeze, 16.9 degrees. I did dig out my white truck, I didn't dig it out, started it up, let it run, pulled it out of the snowbank over there because I'm going to need that in a couple of days, but right now it's time for bed. Good morning everybody. I'm running up to Walmart this morning. I'm going to upload a video 
This one is actually for Melissa's channel, As the Rooster Crows. It's been a long time since she posted one. And this one's gonna be her trip to Louisiana and back. After I get the video uploaded, I'm gonna run over to Super One. We've got some leftover pork and chicken breast in the fridge. And Melissa wants to just do a big salad for lunch. After she went to Louisiana, you know, she was down there for, you know, she was gone for two weeks, so six of them days were driving, but she got to eat all that food that she really likes down there that she doesn't get up here. Video is uploaded, now I'm gonna go into Super One. I got all my shopping done. Came out of the store and there was a guy named Phil there that, uh, he's a subscriber, so I probably talked to him for 20 minutes. They're tapping trees on their property now to make maple syrup. I need to try to find a way to get my snowmobile out there without burying it so I can get the trees tapped on the farmhouse property. Yeah, it was really nice talking to him. Well, what I'm doing this afternoon, I, uh, or tonight, it's probably 6.30 at night now. Uh, I got the snowmobile going and I actually ran the loop in the woods without getting stuck. <laughs> I came off the driveway over by the wood pile and I just pinned it and went, made it around. There was one place back when we go all the way down that trail where it comes to the first tee before the second trail where I, uh, almost tipped it over. The snow was so deep and then it drifted in that area. So the snow came so fast last uh, fall and here or right there is where my uh, uh, my maple sap, whatever it's called, that boils the sap, my stove is, sitting upside down and I don't know where so I'm trying to find it because today would have been a great day to tap the trees. It's that time of year right now. And uh, so I want to get out there and do that in the next few days because the temperatures are going to be going below freezing to above freezing. Thing is, I want, I want to do the tent trip this week too. I'm hoping to this week or next week. So always something going on at the same time. But somewhere around here is that stove and I need to find it. If I would have had more time last fall and thought about it, I would have put it inside the workshop where it would have been nice and dry. This shovel too. Found it. I thought I found it, but I didn't. That's the wood stove that was in the garage at the hobby farmhouse. <laughs> I was excited that I found it so fast also. The snow back here is literally waist deep if I fall all the way through to the bottom. Luckily it's hard when you get down there about 24, 30 inches. You can see the junk pile right there. That's taller than I am and that snow is drifted up against there pretty good. I can't imagine how wet everything's gonna be and how long it's gonna take to melt all this. Okay, 
It's got to be right here somewhere. Well, it's definitely not right where I thought it was. I need to get my ice chisel and then go ahead and just poke through until I hit stuff, but I don't think it's right in here. I mean, <laughs> I wonder if it's still sitting upside down behind the back corner of the garage. I thought I brought it back here, but now that that one from the hobby farmhouse is back here, maybe that's the one I remember bringing back. I can't remember. Ah, I think I see it behind the garage. A lot of digging for nothing. There it is. That won't be too bad to get out of there. Now I just need to figure out where my boiling pans are. I had way too much crap going on last year to keep anything straight. And really organized. I'm surprised it's as good as it is. I have no clue. <laughs> and I don't think that they're back with the with that stove either. Nothing in here either. I came out that door forgot to shut off the light, so I went back in there to shut off the light, and I glanced over here. Here's my two boiling pans right here. <laughs> Yay. Last thing I want to do is be digging those out of the snow. I'd never find them. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Pretty exciting week coming up here. Today I had to go up and get a new hitch for the back of the truck, and I could only get one that had a six-inch drop. Usually I run an 8 inch, so I hope that's going to work, but my other one was only rated for 5,000 pounds and I need one over 9. And I think this one is rated for ah, 15,000 or 25,000 pounds. Yeah, that's coming up, but I'm not talking about that till it's here. I, mean, I might go get it tomorrow or Tuesday. It's hard to say. Tuesday and Wednesday. Now they're talking another snowstorm coming in. And it's my phone right now says five inches, so I'll have to wait and see what the National Weather Service says, but it looks like it's not over yet. Everybody stay tuned because there's a lot of videos coming up. I just posted one for Melissa on As the Rooster Crows today of her trip down to Louisiana. Zach just posted one on Joe and Zach's survival of an ice camping trip. It's actually a really good video. Uh, I got the tent winter trip coming up. Uh, just a lot of spring is going to be coming now, so things will get more busy. There'll be more videos. And of course, things are just about to get real busy here on the Northern Seclusion Channel. I will see you guys on the next video.